Hi, this is, um, I'll be presenting the lesson plan for second grade. Um, so our lesson, our content standard is, um, sec, um, students demonstrate map skills by describing the absolute and relative locations of people, places, and environments. Dealing with the third one, which, which, which was um, locate on the map where their ancestors lived, telling where, when the family moved to the local community and how they went and how and why they made the trip. Our learning objective is um, history, social science, to, um, 2.2.3. Scholars will be able to list the names of the continents using a map worksheet and talk about where their ancestors lived through a pic collage where they will show their own pictures on the map worksheet. Um, our level of bloom will be using remembering to recall so they'll be able to recognize where the seven continents are um, located. And then our co-teaching model used is um, team te teaching and social teaching. The reason we chose um, station oh um, the reason we chose station teaching was because um, a lot of our English I mean a lot of our students are um, English learners, so it helps better if they're in smaller groups. That way, we can take our time with um, the group and go with them over vocabulary um, just so they can feel more comfortable in a smaller group in case they're shy because you know a lot of English learners are shy to speak out so with a smaller group they can feel more comfortable and then the reason we chose team teaching is because for like our introduction of the whole project um, we'd be like each one of us will be doing our own um what is it called our own pick collage as well saying like you know where we come or where we're from anyways um so the evidence of so using we'll be we're going to be using pick collage um students will be students will combine their pictures and use them as a tool for a presentation i know at this young age they might not know how to use it but um, we can teach them and I know they'll really enjoy it because who doesn't like putting pictures a whole bunch of pictures uh, anyways um, they will show their work and use their body and then another activity we would do with them would be um, they would point out um, the continents or point out a place where they're from from using their um, their body um, and then for our um, evaluation, um, we would wrap it up with giving them basically what we gave them at the beginning, the worksheet with the continents, but blank. And then they would have like a little section of the seven continents and they would have to like fill it in where they go at. Um, cause you know, they're not going to know how to spell it out. Like. I mean, maybe they can be, I don't know, but yeah, they'll have that, it's kind of like multiple choice of like, you know, where, where, what goes, um, and that will basically be like their exit, their exit out of the classroom. And there's, this would be done on like the second day after like the whole presentation, this would basically be like a quiz to sum up them learning the seven continents. And yeah, that would be it.